Greetings. Hi. Hello. It is I, Jog, but also Jake. My, my name is Jake. Just another wise guy. This is my YouTube channel and its current name. My goal for this is vaguely involving ranting about everything, playing some games along the way, tossing in entertainment, laughs, and ideally building a community to show people we can actually communicate productively and work together to create the place we truly want and no, no lies no bs no nonsense no garbage no jokes no doubt the actual real deal better world uh, i've spent the last few years of my life seeing and going through significant personal observations and change that's now motivated me to speak up and add a little more of what i think we desperately need in the social conversation i've been trying to learn about the world the best i could and now I want to give this a shot and see if anything happens with uh, with these videos. You know, my plan is to create a, vi uh, a varied mix of content covering all kinds of stuff, political topics involving American and international discourse, you know, relevant issues, leftism in general, communism, Marxism, uh, I want to talk about masculinity, gender, uh, capitalism, obviously, all kinds of stuff, you know, and that's just the political realm, you know, philosophical topics I would like to do. I'd like to uh, go back to my roots a little and uh, criticize religion, spirituality, talk about that a little, um, you know, and then even I've got a passion for film and movies and shows and acting and stuff like that, and I love video games, and, you know, there's just, there's a lot I want to talk about, um, so it's kind of going to be kind of all over the place and uh, plentiful, but hopefully it'll reap entertainment and good content. You might be wondering why you're watching gameplay while I'm talking about all of this and a completely separate topic. That's because I'm trying to just reel in, you know, roaming game reviewers or just see it and click on it, uh, you know, as a kind of, you know, Greeting. Uh, what's hot. It's just to try to, you know, for bait, basically. I mean, see if I can pull people in. Um, but really, it's just to be footage that I'm using now as a stand-in for coming higher quality video. You know, I'd... I thought this would be a good starting point uh, while I build my editing skills because I'm new to all of this with recording and editing, making videos, putting myself out there like this, exposing myself is what I see as a risk due to how palpable the red scare really is in America. Um, weak burp. Uh, I just, it's, it's just not as comfortable and as safe as I would like. So it's just taking a little Mitch or a, a little bit of a, uh, I don't know. It just takes a little bit to get in that space, I guess. I'd like to do streams in the future, too. Play some video games during that and chatting with y'all. Like, getting your questions, comments, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I think that'd be a good environment, too. But uh, also having my face on camera with not just the higher quality video, but also the streams. Uh, eventually, that is. Eventually. I don't know when. I, uh... I also uh, try to write, uh, you know, I'm, I may try like doing writing my short stories and showcasing them to practice my own writing, not only, but just to like get it out there and uh, see how it does and stuff. And uh, I'll definitely be making uh, response videos to viewers and comments and points as well that I think are worthwhile because I think that'll um, just, you know, I think that's good. I think that'll be a good way to help really show people that I that I care about what we're all trying to think and say this isn't just some kind of ruse or gimmick um you know there's just all miscellaneous random hopefully funny and interesting ideas that'll come up along the way uh i'm, I'm trying to make this channel uh prosper because in my in my view in my opinion in my observation something it, something is happening the the world is deteriorating you know many people seem to be dreading something coming right uh Climate collapse inches closer every day. Wealth inequality is the worst in U.S. history, with record profits going to the absolute richest of the richest, while the vast majority of the working class in America continues to work their asses off for little to nothing. Not just that, but racial and gender tensions continue to rise. Oppression and discrimination against non-binary and trans people are increasing. Civil infrastructure is deteriorating uh, and neglected in mass. Uh, you know, the government continues to drain its own resources and as it corrupts itself. The wealthiest, the most gluttonous, most sociopathic and apathetic, the most out of touch and lost people control everything. They determine how we work, when we work, for how much and why. They determine what, we, uh, what they think 
we deserve and they gauge if we'll accept it or if they'll decide to punish us if we say no. They beat us down with economic violence of threatening homelessness with high housing prices and bureaucratic hoops to struggle with the ownership of our own homes. They keep us in control with police hiding in parking lots, streets, alleyways, corners, and other areas waiting to catch you just going a little too fast or without a headlight, slapping hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a fine barely justified. And where are those same police when children go hungry every day, when sexual violence and exploitation festers everywhere, with corporate fraud and laundering present everywhere? Those those same police are nowhere to be found. Our military invades and stirs chaos in countries they do not belong, and they commit mass genocide against victims of our nation state's imperialism all around the world. We drive in little cluttered and claustrophobic cars and lanes and streets where we pollute the atmosphere instead of having high speed rail. We consume endless amounts of media that we could have easily gone without in the face of a time when we need to be focused most. I know I speak somewhat hypocritically on that because here we are on YouTube, but I'm, I'm, I think that's what I'm aiming for together. We can, can, we can use many of these things to our advantage, even if it hurts us a little. You know, I don't really think it's going to be like that. I just, I plan on wielding it. That'll be plentiful for us. It'll reap good benefits. We, we need massive change. There are substantial existential threats on the horizon. This isn't a lie. This isn't melodrama or bias or subjectivity. I'm not being over the top. This isn't doomerism or soapboxing. I'm not here to ruin your day any more than I'm trying to also make things better. This is what's happening. The, the way we live is a sickness. This is an ill society. We are, we are not happy. We are not well. There's plenty of good. But America has created a blind people who do not see what our nation does to other people around the world, and little are they aware of what happens within it, too. I, I, I want to change that. I, I think my origin plays into that. Uh, you know, I was, I was born and raised here in America in a very conservative Christian place with most of my upbringing surrounded and reinforced by people following these beliefs and identities. You know, over time, I was lucky enough to come across people who challenged me to see differently and you know, holy, holy hell, <laughs> many of them were right. Uh, you know, I was kind of like one of those classic nationalistic, uh, borderline fascistic, uh, American Christian conservative, like Ben Shapiro type political annoying kid, uh, for real. Like, you know, I used to be kind of like that. And I mean, I guess in some ways I'm, I'm like that just on the other team, but nowhere near as obnoxious. Hopefully my views have changed as much as they possibly could have. I, I'm truly a, a communist i am still learning about not just marxism but also how to undo american propaganda in my mind and others minds as well and as time as goes on I, I feel confident enough to talk about what i feel can't wait any longer and uh make no mistake uh i'm not coming at this from a place of just pain and frustration everything that makes us beautiful safe happy healthy comes from us us, our own selves, each other, humanity, the, the people. We do not owe celebrities and billionaires and bureaucrats and power-hungry tyrants and hierarchs of any ounce of credit for what all of us do every day so they can relish their gluttonous and wildly unwarranted success and, and wealth and take what is security and the natural fruits of our labor for themselves. The average person, I think, operates on a very personal level. They care about their family, their friends. They want to care about themselves, look after themselves, and take care of themselves and those family and friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. And being, uh, you know, modern, clothed, tamed monkeys born from survival, we still struggle at our core to value our differences and work together to build a more united world. I would argue this critical obstruction, the absence of a total unity, that is, uh, underlies our every single issue on the planet. It's pretty obvious what my views are politically, and I stand behind most civil and social movements associated with communism, socialism, anarchism. I believe in the goal of communism, and I think on any day that progressive direction is a superior economic model contrasted to capitalism. I, I will cover all kinds of justifications for this, and I'm looking to become a unique voice adding to the conversation that tries to bring people together with plenty of sp sp la la la, spicy discussion involved along the way. While ideas like Marxism and communism will help us move in the right direction, it's up to us human beings to make the actionable difference, 
to adapt, progress, and change what we need and deserve for each other and ourselves. I'm, I'm looking to build a community. I, I want people to speak up, not about trivial BS, preferably. Really, I hope for about as many people as possible to come together and talk about this and be in a space where we can at least try to work together. I, I want to see what you think and what you want to share truly. And I want to try pretty damn hard in this journey that hopefully you'll join to listen to you and to comment to many of you to help us talk to each other. You know, I, I'm tired of acting like we're against each other. I'm tired of pretending we're all enemies, pretending we have such critical or significant differences that we can't get along and figure this out. I think almost everyone really does want everyone to be okay, so long as their needs are covered as well. And that is not selfish, that is survival. And that lack of fundamental understanding that, that people have to rely on themselves to provide for themselves so long as we don't unite as an all, it's the true obstacle to progress. I'm... <laughs> I'm not clueless. There is no utopia. There is no fairy, t fairy tale. And believe me, as you will see too, and as you are too, I am not naive. And I don't believe in fairy, t fairy tales. I am not at all delusional. I know this in every way. Is an up the, it is the uphill mountain. But I think I may be cooking up something special y'all might want to listen to and perhaps even enjoy. I I can't wait any longer for someone else to do something. I, I can't. I've mulled over this for way too long, and I don't care anymore. I'm not acting, uh, I'm not accepting this fucking shit show of med mediocrity and misery anymore. I, I know, I, I feel the deepest faith we can actually make these changes. Could I fail? Could it all go to shit? Absolutely. And I will make mistakes, and perhaps this will not end as well as I would hope. But I don't believe that. And I don't care if I lose. I'm just not accepting low odds as defeat in the face of what I see is needed and urgent, comprehensive action. Let's see what's in store for us. Hopefully this gives you a general, uh, general idea of what I wanted for this. You get an idea of how I am, what I talk about. Um, this video may change over time, but this is what the deal is. This is what I got going on. So thank you for watching. Uh, take care, and I hope I see you around. I hope you... Uh, yeah, thank you again, and uh, hope you stick around, hope you watch, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and um, yeah, thank you again. Peace.